and then it was gone. Hey, it's me, Randy Lee, and this week I am bringing you straight live from my apartment my desk rejects. So what this video is about is the things that I've been trying and I can't say I'm not buying because I obviously bought them but won't be rebuying. So first and foremost let's start off with something that every girl needs in her collection and that is dry shampoo. So this is the Oribe dry shampoo. It's called Gold Lust and I definitely lusted after this product. But the only reason it's here is not because it doesn't work and it doesn't do its job because I think it's fantastic, but because I simply can't afford it. This is a high-end product that's not in my budget currently and maybe one day it will be, but for right now I need to find something alternative to try. So I'm giving a shot to some Not Your Mother's Dry Shampoo this month and Batiste and I'll let you know how that goes. Next up on the list is another high-end product, and that is the Cotelet Beauty Elixir. And now, I have been wanting to try this for quite a while, and I finally got the opportunity to when I was on a trip and happened to find this cute little petite guy right here for a reasonable price. The problem with high-end products that I personally face is that a lot of them are filled with scent and so that scent just doesn't work with me with some of my health issues like allergies and so I think it's beautiful and it leaves a beautiful finish on the skin that's what I finished my face off with today but that scent is just like a little too overwhelming so I won't be repurchasing this sort of middle of the road but high-end for skincare are some drunk elephant products and this was actually my birthday gift from sephora and so i have the proteiny polypeptide cream and i have the bestie number no. nine jelly cleanser and so these products are in my desk rejects not because they don't get the job done they do the job and i think that they would work for most people but for me struggling with super dry skin, I have to be really careful with cleansers that can be a little stripping and I have to find moisturizers that really bring in that like extra barrier protection. So I like them, but I don't love them and I won't be purchasing the full size. Speaking of things that dry your skin out, I unfortunately have Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm in my desk rejects. I'm really sad about this because I've always heard really great things and this it does it takes everything off but the cost for me personally is that it also strips my skin of all of the moisture that I tried really hard to retain with super dry skin and especially now that winter is coming up really quick so I bought a trial size I gave it a fair shot I think and I'm almost finished with it honestly I bought it I want to finish it and I want to say I gave it the most fair shot that I could but I am actually going to be trying um, the Drunk Elephant Cleansing Balm next and seeing how that compares to things that I've tried in the past like the Physician's Formula Cleansing Balm. In my last haul that I posted I said that I scored this from Victoria's Secret and Banana Twist and let me say like that smell is still great. It's still everything. I had voiced that I had a concern that the smell might affect me with allergies, but what I actually found out affected me was that it was just not moisturizing enough. And so I had that good smell for a little bit, but it wasn't really staying on my skin. And it was like, I put lotion on and then it was gone. So a recommendation that I have versus this would be to try something from Bath & Body Works. A lot of their new products have way more uh, hydrating properties than they do scent properties and so I think that's a worthwhile try if you still want something where you're gonna smell really good and you put it all over and give you that sort of feeling. A long time wish list product that I scored at TJ Maxx a couple months ago is the Laura Gellert Spackle Mist. Now I wanted to try spackle so so bad so I got this mist when I came across it. It's just okay. It isn't the miracle product that I thought it would be. Um, I honestly like using it a lot better on my sp to dampen my sponges and if I set my face with it the mist is just really intense and so it's like 
whopping you in the face. And I have a little handheld fan that I definitely have to use after I use a product like this. I have tried in the past the spackle that's like the moisturizer. And I think that I would like that product if I had the opportunity to try it again. But as far as this mist, I'm going to use it. I bought it, but I'm trying to find the best use of it. And I'm not going to repurchase. I think I briefly spoke about this in one of my other videos, but something that I am not purchasing, and I don't even have my sample anymore, I only have the bag, is the newer Fenty Hydrating Foundation. I have the driest skin in the world, and that just broke up all across my skin. It didn't do me any favors, it didn't look good, and I was very upset about it. Others that I tried were the new ABH Foundation, glorious. I also tried Josie Marin Argan Oil Foundation. Glorious. Beautiful. I didn't have any problems with that. I tried the Milk Flex Foundation. Great. I really like it a lot. But Fenty and I, we just haven't got along and I haven't found a dream product from that line yet, quite honestly. In other beauty related news, I have a Morphe Mega Matte lipstick and now this color is stunning. Like, I want this color on my lips. I want to wear it all the time. But unfortunately, I'm swearing off this entire formula. When they say mega matte, they mean mega matte. And so even if I prep with something, still have problems with it. And it kind of breaks up on my lips if my mouth gets a little too dry. And the lasting power doesn't feel like it's really there for me with this product. So I'm going to try something else. I'm trying to find a replacement, but I'll keep y'all updated if I do find something else because this color, I need it. Another desk reject that might come as a surprise to a lot of people is I'm swearing off chapstick. Now, chapstick and I, we've been, we've been longtime friends. It's really come in handy. But I had heard rumors, and this is what it does for me, that applying chapstick actually causes your lips to dry out further and then you have to repeat application over and over again. So to replace this, I went back to Carmex. I used Vaseline. I have uh, some Lana lips that I really like. I love the Bite products for lips. All I have on right now is some not chapstick, and so these guys, farewell friends. It was very nice to know you. UA Tan Lines palette. And now this palette, like the color story is everything I wanted. I decided I wanted it to keep myself from buying a more expensive palette that had the same color story as the first half of this palette. So if you can see from here on over, this is a very popular color story in the past several years. And so I wanted that and I wanted it with other bright colors that I could use. And so my gripe with this palette, which I kept putting off buying and buying, and then finally I was like, okay, I have to do it. And so I bought it and it's just all right. It's not the payoff that I expected from Jouer and I just want more lasting power out of these shadows. I don't want them to disappear halfway through the day. And with brights, I know they're hard, but like you look at that beautiful green, you look at that beautiful yellow and I put them on my eyes and they're gone in 30 minutes. And I. I need better than that. However, if you do want to try something from Jouer, their lip enhancer is great. It's a great balm and it's supposed to kind of plump your pout a little bit and I think it does. Or get a hold of some of their other lip products or their highlighters. That's where I would start if you want to explore this brand. In self-care, I tried this Gillette Fusion razor and it was supposed to be moisturizing and I'm like, great, I have dry skin. That's exactly what I want. That's what I'm going for. This is the driest razor in the world, I swear. Um, I tried the Harry's razors and this takes a cake. Those are some dry, no moisturizing, having razors and this beat them. Even with shaving cream or conditioner, which is a little like hack you can use if you have dry skin. Didn't work, didn't work. So this is going in the trash and I'll go back to my other tried and true. And last but certainly not least because Ooh, is these Via Instant Peppermint Mocha Lattes. And maybe, maybe I just don't know how to use them, but I don't have a problem with any of the other flavors and coffee or in the refresher style, except for this one. It tastes 
chalky to me. So I'm gonna pass it off to somebody that I think would enjoy that much flavor. And I'm gonna stick to like my hibiscus refreshers or my instant like cold coffee. And I think that'll, that'll do for me. So what are your desk rejects? That's really what I wanna know at the end of this. What did you try but you don't wanna rebuy? What are some things that you found out worked better for you? Leave them down in the comments and I'll try and check them out and I'll let you know how I feel about it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.